In this lesson, we will talk about prediction and extrapolation in regards to least squared regression. Why do we do least squared regression? One of the reasons we do a least squared regression is, is in order to predict. What do we want to predict? We want to use the model to predict the level of response at a given value of the explanatory variable. Remember, the fitted or predicted value, y hat, is equal to a plus bx. a and b are regression coefficients. And if we want to predict the response at a given level of our explanatory variable, we plug that level into our equation for x and find what the predicted value is. Let's do a regression on the following data. The data consists of miles, distance in miles, and airfare in dollars for air travel between Baltimore, Maryland to various U.S. cities as of January 8, 1995. So, back in 1995, if one was traveling from Baltimore to a city that was, a, that was 189 miles away, the airfare cost would be 98. Doing regression on this data set, predicting airfare from the distance traveled, the regression equation is the predicted airfare is equal to $83.27 plus .117 times the distance traveled. Let's use this regression equation to predict what the airfare cost was if flying from Baltimore to Cleveland in 1995 knowing that Cleveland is 375 miles from Baltimore. How do we find that predicted value? We plug in 375 in for our distance to get our predicted airfare. So airfare hat equals 83.27 plus .117 times the distance between Baltimore and Cleveland, which is 375. This gives us a predicted airfare based on our model of $127.15. Now, let's use the model to predict what the airfare cost was if flying from Baltimore to San Francisco, knowing that San Francisco is 2,842 miles from Baltimore. We go through the same process. We plug in the distance traveled, the distance between Baltimore and San Francisco, of 2,842 miles into our regression equation, and we get a predicted airfare of $415.78. Which of these predictions do you find the most reliable, and why? What would you say if I said the actual airfare from Baltimore to San Francisco in 1995 was $198? Our model predicted a cost of $415. The actual airfare was $198. How could we be so far off? And therefore, the question is, is this model good at predicting airfare? What we just observed was an example of extrapolation in our San Francisco example. Extrapolation is finding predicted values. We did that outside the range of the explanatory variable used to find the least squared regression model. Let's go back and look at our original data. In our original data pairs, the smallest distance that was used to get our least squared regression line was 189 miles. The largest distance traveled between the two cities was 1,502 miles. If we use our regression equation to find predicted values outside of this range 189 to 1502, that's called extrapolation. We do not know what the relationship between distance and airfare is for distance traveled less than 189 degrees, and we don't know the relationship between distance and airfare for distances greater than 1,500 miles. Even if the relationship is linear between 189 and 1502, there is no guarantee that it remains linear outside of those values. 
That's why you must be very cautious and very careful if you are trying to find predicted values outside of the range of your X data, especially if you're far away from 189 or 1502. If you're close to 189, it's probably not that dangerous. If you're close to 1502, it's probably not that dangerous. The further away you get from your max or your min, the more likely and the more careful you must be using that as your predicted value. And the moral of the story is be very careful when finding predicted values outside the range of the explanatory variable used to construct the linear model. You do not know without having data in that range what the relationship between your two quantitative variables are. Extrapolation can be a very dangerous uh, thing to do.